Hello YouTube, D. Baudry here. So this is a Panasonic 18650 cell. Uh, yeah, an 18650B, so 3400 milliamp hour cell. And I have accidentally blown through the bottom of it. So you can see the bubbles coming out right there. <coughs> and here is a butane torch. And just in case Dot will need it, um, there is a fire extinguisher. So, you're going to light this bad boy. Well, that was a complete bust. Come <laughs> on. You see me holding the flame on there. Okay, get a little bit more stuff out. I have actually caught an 18650 on fire before. Um, you know, why that one... Oh, whoo, oh, there we go. A little bit of something. All I'm really pointing out here is you see me applying butane torch directly to the 18650, and it's not catching fire. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, let me try poking another hole in it or something here with the edge of this chisel. There we go. I saw some sparks that time. So I probably shorted the uh, elements inside. Try lighting that again. There's two holes through the bottom of this cell. <clears throat> so all you people out there that are just all fiery worried up about you know cells blowing up and all that kind of stuff, yes they can happen. But there is two holes and you see me, see, butane torch, I'm applying it directly to the bottom of the cell. So the last time I caught a cell on fire, I had to use my spot welder. Yeah, see, it's not even staying lit. I had to use my spot welder, uh, which is a K-weld, to do that. Yeah, you can, every once in a while, see the sparks come out. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> It's a big ass hole in the bottom of the cell. Let me try lighting it again. Uh, okay. Is that enough proof yet? <laughs> Damn thing's not gonna light. I, I, you know, there's little bubbles coming out. That's on camera. There's little bubbles coming out. There we go, I saw a spark. Yeah, it's not like you can't see that on camera. Yeah, more stuff is coming out. Let me try lighting it again. Oh. <laughs> anyway, last time I got a cell to catch on fire, I had... <clears throat> I had my K-Weld spot welder turned up way too high, and I blew right through the bottom of a cell. And I thought I could simulate what happened and that's like the only time I've ever got an 18650 to catch fire. And that was an LG MH1. Not a Panasonic cell. I mean, how much heat do I got to apply to this damn thing? Yeah, and, and it makes a little bit of flame and it goes back out again. See? Yeah, it's got a little tiny bit of a flame that sticks right there, but that's it. I'm doing this on camera, totally live. You can't fake this. <laughs> Damn thing won't stay lit. You see me trying, it's not like I'm not. <clears throat> Here, let me uh step. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's what it finally took. I still have the smoke detector. Anyway, that took a lot to get that battery to light on fire, finally. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Let me turn off the smoke detector. Shush. Well, oh, shut up. There we go. Okay, well the smoke detector's not gonna quit. Anyway, 
That took a lot to make that battery to catch fire. A lot, a lot. As you can see, it's glowing pretty good. Let me turn off the lights. It's glowing pretty good. Anyway, it took a hell of a lot to catch an 18650 on fire. <clears throat> a lot, a lot. Way more than they ever expected. Let me turn off the smoke detector again. Well, that's pretty interesting.